Jesus. Slap it together. Oh, come on. Keep clapping those hands. Clap it well. Add a shout to it if you are in the house. And you are a living testimony. Leave your seat. Go to seven people. Say to them, this is your night. This is your night. This is your night. It's working on the outside. This is oh, your night. All the change in my life. Oh, something in the inside is working on the outside. Oh, the change in my life. Yeah, something in the inside is working on the outside. Well, oh, the change in my life. Oh, oh, the change in my life. Everybody say something. Something. in this house. How many of you know and believe that as you are standing here, you are a living testimony? If you believe, come on, shout out to the name of the Lord. I believe I'm a living testimony. I believe. I believe. Amen. Help me appreciate the mighty bishop of living faith, my father, Bishop Dominic. Come on, is that how you do? Come on, clap your hands. And appreciate the grace of God over his life in the name of Jesus. Keep clapping your hands until I tell you to stop. Clap your hands for 60 seconds. Yes, come on, keep going. 50 seconds. Keep clapping. 41 seconds. 39. Come on, keep clapping. We love you, Bishop. We appreciate you. Stretch your hands on him. What do you say? We love you, Bishop. We pray for you. May God bless you with long life and a lot of what? Hallelujah. Amen. Let us appreciate the first lady in absentia. Amen. Clap your hands. I'm sure she's on the way. Clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Please make sure you attend Living Ladies Conference coming up on the 15th to 18th. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor if they're a woman or a lady. And say to them, put those dates in your mind. Amen. And be blessed. Today is Friday. 
2nd of June. How many of you have been coming for the program all through? How many of you have been blessed throughout all the week? Hallelujah. Yeah. Tonight, God has an, a different blessing for you. Tomorrow morning is Jericho hour. You shouldn't miss it. And Sunday morning and Sunday evening. All right? Make sure you go through all the sessions and your life will never be the same again. After this conference, get ready to testify. Lot of miracles are happening here. And you shall be part of it. We thank God that Bishop heard the voice of God and put this conference together. All right? Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Don't take it for granted at all. All right? And make sure that in this season, you pray every prayer you need to pray. You hear the word of God. You follow instructions and expect tangible results in Jesus name amen. amen please take your seat and shout I'm in charge, I'm in charge. say it like you mean it. say I'm in, charge. I'm in charge Acts chapter 12 from verse 1 get it on the board for me the new King James please Acts chapter 12 from the verse of 1 now about that time Herod, the king, stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. I pray for you this season. Any satanic hand that has been stretched against you, let God intervene and let that evil hand be cut off. Yeah, look on the board. Put your Bibles down. We have started. Father, bless your word. Let your word bless every life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He said, at that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand and he began to harass some people that belonged to the church. Lift your right hand. By the power of this prayer explosion, if there is any outstretched hand against your life, against your business, against your children, let that hand be cut off. Amen. By the power of prayer, I prophesy any negative hand that has been stretched against you in the name of Jesus, may God cut off that hand right now. I pray for 30 people tonight in the name of Jesus. If you are here and there is any negative hand stretched against you, let that hand be cut off. Amen. By the power of the word of God, whatever has become a resistance to your blessing, let that hand be broken by fire. Come on, shout, I believe. It said that he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. Lift your hand. My second prayer for you. Any wicked intentions of the enemy for you to, to cause you to be terminated, to cut you short from fulfilling your assignment in this prayer gathering, let that satanic intention never come to pass. Amen. I don't think you came to church. I pray for you right now. In the month of June, whoever has an intention to cut you short, to terminate you from fulfilling your assignment by the power and the fire of the word of God, let those intentions never be fulfilled. Never be fulfilled. May the plans of your enemies never come to pass. I prophesy to you, jump on your feet and shout, it will never come to pass. Shout it again. Look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor, I prophesy into your life, every wicked intention for your life will never come to pass. Clap your hands and shout, it will never happen. Number one, he stretched his hand to harass them. Number two, he killed James. Lift your hand again. The problem you are going through, it will never kill you. Come on, shout a big amen. Whatever you are going through, I don't know whether you are here or not, but I want you to hear me from this altar of fire. Anything you are going through that is too much for you to 
tonight I pray for you that it will never kill you. The enemy will never be able to kill you. Come on, son, I believe it. Verse 3. Verse 3. Stay with me. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further. Lift your hand. I prophesy the wicked man in your father's house who has succeeded in destroying people's life. When it comes to you, may God stop it. Am I talking to someone here? I said, the evil man or evil woman or wickedness that prevails in your family for years that has been succeeding because of you, let it not proceed further. I said, let it not proceed further. 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 Clap your hands and shout, I believe. When he saw that it please the Jews. It means that there is always somebody who is joyful at your demise. Lift your hand. He saw, which means that had it not been that he saw that it pleased some people, he wouldn't have gone further. But he saw that what he did before pleased some people, it gave him five star rating. So he proceeded further. There are wickedness moves in levels. Are you with me? There are some people who get excited at another man's downfall. I pray for you. Anybody that is around you who is waiting for you to fall so that they will be pleased. May it never happen. I said may it never happen. Whoever is waiting for you to die, they will wait for a long time and it will never happen. Whoever is waiting for you to fall, they will wait for a long time. Whoever is waiting for your business to close, they will wait for a long time. It will never happen. Clap your hands and shout back to center. He saw that it pleased the Jews, so he proceeded further. Lift your two hands. Anywhere the devil has fought to or affected you to, let it not proceed further. May your sickness not go further. May your pain not go further. May your problems not go further. May your issues never go further. Whatever you are dealing with, if it is going to go somewhere, let it begin to retrogress and disappear from you. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, the enemy will never proceed. Say to someone, say after tonight, wickedness will never proceed around you again. Shout hallelujah. He proceeded further and said, Seized Peter. Come, sir. He seized him. He arrested him. He tied him down. Oh, yeah, Peter. Do you know Peter? Yeah. The one who Jesus said, Upon you. The one who caught the revelation and said, Thou art Christ. The son of the living God. Are you here? The one who preached and 3,000 people gave their life. Same day. When Herod saw that it pleased the Jews, he tied him down. Lift your hands. Tonight, any satanic power, any evil agenda that want to tie you down, seize you, arrest you, pray for you in this atmosphere that power is destroyed this church lift your hand is 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 one of the most powerful atmospheres i've ever seen i prophesy to you in this atmosphere the anointing in this house let it destroy any wicked agenda that want to seize you tie you arrest 
you, hold you, shout and break it out. A lot of people have been seized by the devil. Yeah. You are a believer, but you are tied. Yeah. That's why sometimes everything is fine, but you feel within you that you are stuck. I declare you lose tonight. I said, I declare you lose tonight. I declare you lose tonight. I don't think you are in church. I declare you lose tonight. I declare you lose tonight. I declare you lose tonight. You are loose from every bondage. You are loose from every attack. You are loose from every evil. You are loose from the hands of the enemy. You are loose from the waters of life. You are loose. When Jesus saw the woman who was bent over, Luke chapter 13, he said, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. The woman was just bent. There was no, nothing on her that was tying her. She was just sick. And Jesus said, you are loosed. Which means that that sickness was like a rope that tied her down. There are so many ways the devil ties people down. He can tie you with generational poverty. So you think you are not, you are, you are prayerful, you are energetic, but you're, you are, you've done everything it is that you can do. You are broke. He has tied you with generational poverty. Some people have been tied with sicknesses. Every day you are visiting a doctor. You have become a permanent patient to a doctor. I pray for you. Your name is removed. You will not become patient to any doctor by the power of the Holy Ghost. It is never your portion. Am I talking to you here? Lift your hand and say, I'm loose. I'm loose. Say, I'm loose. Shout and say, I'm loose. Shout again, say, I'm loose. Walk up to seven people and say to them, You are loose. Say to them, You are loose. 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 Oh, I feel someone is coming out. 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 Lift your two hands and shout, I'm loose. Say Lord, I say I'm loose. Say any bondage in my life. I am loose. Sit down, sit down, please. Take your seat. Stand here. I haven't finished. I told you that it's me and you doing this service. There are some people you may not be tied down by generational poverty. Tied down by sickness. But you are tied down by your own thinking pattern. The way you think. Satan can hold you by the way you think. For as a man thinketh, so is he. So, somebody can be stuck. They will pray one million years prayer. But their mindset is the thing holding them. So, even when God opens a door, the mindset is so low and corrupt that you are not able to move forward. Touch your mind and say, I'm loose. I'm loose. Oh, I can't hear you. Say, I'm loose. I'm loose. Say, I am loose. I'm loose. Say, I am loose. I am loose. That is why the greatest deliverance is deliverance from your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your mind. Your mind. 
your mind. Say, my mind is loose. My mind is loose. That's why a false teacher is dangerous than a false prophet. Are you hearing me? A false teacher. If you, if you, if you, if you keep listening to someone who is manipulating your mind with teachings for a long time, you will become it. For what you hear every day is what you become. I pray for you. Your mind, that's why you must make sure you are established in living faith. Because here, powerful teachings that will change your life. Am I talking to you? I pray for you tonight. God has delivered you from any mind restrictions. If Satan has tied you down with your belief system, with your thinking May God set you loose. May God set you loose. Yeah, your belief systems. There are some people that believe that they will never be rich. They believe it. They think that poverty is righteousness. Yes, yes. It's a mindset thing. So if somebody gives you one million, still, still, yeah. It doesn't show on you. Lift your hands. I pray for you today. In this service, you will not be tied down. Amen. Come on, shout amen. amen. Shout amen. amen. Take him back. Take me back. Move from Luke. Go to Acts chapter 12. He said, He sees Peter. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison. Lift your hand and say, any spiritual imprisonment. Any spiritual imprisonment. Listen, I don't like that. Today is Friday. Say, any spiritual imprisonment. Any spiritual imprisonment. By the word of God, I break, I break out tonight. In the name of Jesus, any imprisonment in the realm of the spirit concerning my life, my destiny, my blessing, my favor, my testimony, I break, I break out now. I break out now. I break out now. I break out now. Come on, shout. I break out. 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 You are the one I'm talking to. After this service. Whatever has put you in a spiritual prison, I command you to break out. Come on, jump and shout, I'm breaking out. Take two steps and shout, I'm breaking out. Say, after tonight, by the word of God, any imprisonment, I break out. You are breaking out, you are breaking out. You are breaking out, you are breaking out. You are breaking out. You are breaking up. You are breaking up. You are breaking up. Shout hallelujah. Take your seat. And delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him. Lift your hands. Any monetary spirit. He didn't just put him in prison. Mm. He put him in prison. Mm. He locked the door. Then he put four strong men to keep an eye on him. Oh this month, in the spirit keeping an eye on you, oh. by the power of the word of God, hey. let their eyes be shut. Hey. Anybody looking at you with evil eyes, Jesus. do you know that Satan can hire people to keep an eye on you. They watch you. They watch all the good things you are doing. And they sabotage it. Lift your hand tonight. To keep an eye. Any monitoring agent. Demonic entities. Spiritual forces. Keeping an eye on your progress. Let their eyes be shut. Amen. I said, let your eyes be shut. Amen. Let your eyes be shut. Amen. 
whoever is watching you watching your progress and fighting you may their eyes be shut whoever is a monitoring agent around your life monitoring anything you are doing in the name of jesus may the lord shut the eyes may the lord shut the eyes may the lord shut the eyes He said, he said, to keep him, to keep him, to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Any intentions of the enemy. You see, listen to this. Whatever the enemy starts in your life, it's just a start. He has an end game. May that end game never happen. Amen. I can't get a name and shout it louder. Amen. May that end game never happen. Amen. I said, may it never happen. Verse 5. Verse 5. Watch this. Peter was therefore kept in prison. But constant prayer was offered to God. Lift up your right hand. He was in prison though. But constant prayer was offered to God for him. The difference between the one that Herod killed James and Peter is prayer. When he arrested James, nobody prayed for him. So he killed him. But when he took Peter, Peter was a wrong meat. My God. Are you here? Yes, the devil has made a mistake hey. to touch you. Because after today, he has touched a wrong person. By the prayer you are going to pray, every devil that has touched you will lose you and let you go. Ah, oh, you are not here. I said, any devil that has taught you has made the biggest mistake of their life. By the fire of God, let the Lord arise. 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 In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. after today you are not going to wait for the devil to set their eyes on you you are the one going to set your eyes on them I don't think you are here I don't think you are here are you here lift your two hands yeah it's one of our principles back home in London you don't wait for devil to set the eyes on you if I if you realize that this person don't like me want me dead want my downfall you set your eyes on them first Am I speaking to you here? Am I speaking to you? By the power from the altar of living faith, I release supernatural power against any wickedness that is setting the eyes on you. I command it to be. 
be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. If they touch you, God will bring judgment over their head. That's why you have to be a covenant child of God. Am I speaking to you here? You have to. Because naturally, it's not everything you can pray about. But when you become a covenant child, you become like a hot electric wire. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Live one. Yeah. You can cut a small wire and go scot free. But the one that runs to the transformers. So James was a tiny earth wire. So Herod killed him. But when he touched Peter, it was a transformer. Are you here? Are you here? I pray for you. If anybody takes your photo anywhere for evil, it will backfire on their head. I don't think you are here. If anybody mentions your name for evil purposes, it will backfire on them. If anybody sets you up for evil, it will happen to them. I prophesy to you, you are untouchable. Come on, shout, I'm untouchable. Shout, you say, I'm untouchable. Say, I'm a child of God. Sit down. Sit down. I said tonight, any witch that will mistakenly touch you, if they touch you by mistake, you will deal with them by correction. Tonight, I prophesy, you are too slow for my liking. I said, if they touch you by mistake, you will deal with them by correction. Let the hand of God merciful God is not only merciful God is very dangerous that's why Psalm 20 said may the name of the God of Jacob defend you there is a reason why he didn't say may the name of the God of Abraham he said may the name of the God of Jacob defend you God of Jacob He's very violent. God, he entered Egypt. He said to Pharaoh, let them go. He said, no, it's okay. God, he took out every firstborn. Huh? Including firstborns of mosquitoes. <laughs> Lift your hand. You sit there. 
God. <laughs> when he gets ready to judge wickedness, it's terrible. He took out every firstborn boom, 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 from human beings to animals, big animals, medium animals, small animals, tiny animals. Every firstborn, God took it out. And, and he exempted his people. Pharaoh, Pharaoh thought he was a tough guy. You see how he did? He lured them into the sea. Exodus 14. And he flashed them out. I pray for you tonight. I said, I pray for you tonight. I pray for you tonight. Yeah, Laban was chasing Jacob. Chasing him. Then God appeared to him and said, don't even talk to him. Not just don't lay, don't touch him. All. He said, when even you see him, don't even say good or bad. It means that you are, you are, you've told your people that you are going to chase this man here, Eugene here, and destroy him. But when you got there and your people are waiting for you to destroy him and deal with him, then the people will say, "Come on now." He said, "He said, let's go." He said, "Let's go, let's go." I pray for you. I said, I pray for you. Tonight, may the God of Jacob arise and handle your enemies. In the name of Jesus, may the God of Jacob arise and handle your enemies. Handle wickedness. Handle your enemies. Shout hallelujah. scripture give us scripture prayer was offered to God by the church prayer uh, can change things oh yes lift your hands prayer can change things I'm not talking about any bojua bojua prayer no 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 I'm not talking about any fly by night prayer where you don't have spiritual basis, you just get up and then after your big beggar and then you just begin to no, no, no. I'm talking about serious, consistent prayer. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous. Prayer. Lift your hands. I speak over you. I speak over you. I speak over you. I speak over you. I prophesy that by this prayer conference in the name of Jesus every problem in your house will begin to vanish Amen. every devil in your life will begin to pack their things and disappear clap your hands and shout hallelujah there's a lady I pray for in London she's married for over over 10 years or so at that time, it's about three years ago. No, no pregnancy, nothing. And she told me that, Prophet, every night a man comes to sleep with me. He said, A particular man. And when I get pregnant, I'll bleed. When I get pregnant, I'll bleed. Then I put her into a prayer atmosphere, prayed for her consistently for three months. Say three months. Yeah. I take my job very seriously. Three continuous man because she's a good woman in the church. You hear me? Yeah. yeah, and she lets the bank account become nice. <laughs> lift your hand. Lift your hand and say hallelujah. hallelujah. What, what's, what's wrong with you? Yes. Yes. You think when we finish praying, you see all these electricity bills, this, this screen, big screens here. You think Bishop will go to the shop and say, Kadi Lama Hayandalaka. I confess and I take this, this, this projector. No? To take the credit card. Do you understand? Yeah. So when we cast your demons, we have to go and pay bills. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, yes. You know, it's difficult. You, you don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. That is the truth. When you get angry or not, it's because you... you, you, you I don't know what's wrong with you. When you came, you sat under the chairs, very comfortable. The air conditioning is on. And then you even be... 
Why did they, they should increase this aircon, eh? This place it's hot. Increase aircon. Who is paying for the bill? You think the electric company will come here and say, Living Faith International Church, it's God's work for free. No. Look at your neighbor and say, that's not how it works. Yeah. So Jesus, when he saw Zacchaeus, and he said, he's a tax collector, he said, I will eat in your house. He said, tonight, I'm eating your house. You, yes, tax collector, he said, I'll eat in your house. So you pay the bills. You sit there and be uh, So that woman, you know, I was praying for her for 90 days. And she told me, when I finished the prayer, she said, Prophet, I had a dream. I said, what happened? He said, in the dream, this same man who comes every night to sleep with me, now he came, but only to pack bags. Yeah. Say, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you the truth. She said, I came, the, the man came. Yeah, I'm alive. My church people are watching. Yeah. They know what I'm talking about. Yeah. She said, I, the, the man came and packed bags from my wardrobe and locked it. And he opened the door. Mm. And he said to me, the man in the dream said to me, I have divorced you. Then he said, the man took a ring and threw it on her. And, and he said, what did you say? He said, I have divorced you. And the man left. My God. And he, she woke up today. She has two children. Amen. Today. Amen. Yeah. Today. Amen. I pray for you. Amen. Listen. It is not. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not. So when you come to church, pay attention to the word of God. And pay attention to the prayer points. Pay attention to the things that our father is teaching. Because that is how you work on your spiritual life. Are you with me? So that in the event where any evil comes against you, it will backfire. Amen. Lift your hand. I pray for you tonight. Whatever the devil has stolen, let him return it. Amen. Let him return it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Watch this. And when Herod was about... To bring him out. That night. He said that night. That's I'm talking about this night. Amen. One night before they will execute him. Mm. He said. He said. Bound with two chains between two soldiers. And the guards before the door were keeping the prison. An angel of the Lord. Where is it? Seven. Seven. Let's go. Quickly. Quickly. Seven. Now behold. An angel of the Lord just appeared. My and God. stood by him. Yeah. Tonight. God is sending you your rescuer. Amen. I can't hear an amen. I can't hear an amen. amen. I can't hear an amen. amen. What did Bishop say today when, before he gave you the mic? He said, when God wants to deliver you, yeah. he said, when you always please the Lord yeah. and he shows you mercy. Yeah. One of the characteristics of God's mercy yeah. in your life is God sends you a deliverer. Yeah. You didn't put it in your head. He sends you a deliverer. It's a sign of God's mercy towards you. When God shows you mercy, he sends you a deliverer. I pray for you. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. It said, our fathers have sinned, they are no more, and we bear the punishment of their iniquities. It, verse 8 said, there is none to deliver us. One of the signs of a curse is that you don't have a deliverer. Lift your hands. May an angel come to your rescue. Amen. Oh, you are not here. I said, may an angel come to your rescue. Amen. May an angel come to your rescue. Amen. May an angel come to your rescue. Amen. May God send you your deliverer. Amen. May the Lord send you your deliverer. Amen. May the Lord send you your deliverer. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I receive my deliverance. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. There is none to deliver us. None to deliver us. Lamentations uh, 5. Put it back. Let me, let me explain. There is none to deliver us. Yes. It means that when you are dealing with strange curses, 
Give me the scripture back. Lamentations 5 8. You realize that you have prayed and prayed. Listen, church, it's not everybody who prays and gets answers. So. No, no, no. No. Some people pray and pray and pray, and there is none. Servants rule over us, and there is none to deliver us from their hands. I prophesy to you. May, may you not move from your, your princess and princess position into servanthood for, for, for servants to rule over you. I cancel it. And I pray that anytime you open your mouth to pray, God will answer you. Amen. Anytime you open your mouth to pray, God will answer you. Amen. Anytime you open your mouth to pray, God will answer you. Listen, it's a blessing for you to pray and have answers. Lift your hand. Receive that blessing. Receive that blessing. Receive that blessing. From today, anytime you call on God, He will answer you. Shout hallelujah. That's why I say, may God answer you in the day of trouble. Give me back Acts chapter. Acts chapter 12. Let's wrap up. Acts chapter 12. Where am I? He said, he said that night. Uh-huh. So, why are you going fast like that? Are you the one preaching? And so he did. And he said to him, put on your garment and follow me. Verse 9. So he went out and followed him and did not know that what was done by the angel was real but thought he was seeing a vision. You will wake up Monday after this program. And the good news that you hear, it will be to you like a dream. God is opening your doors. God is bringing your miracles. God is bringing your testimony. In the name of Jesus. When they went past the first and the second guard post, they came to the iron gate. Lift your hand and say, any iron gate? Any iron gate. I'll finish. My God, thank you. No, I haven't finished. I remember I haven't finished. Look at this. Came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own word. Let's go back. The iron gate leads to where? Oh, say it again. Leads to where? What's a city? A city is a place. There's a, there's a difference between city and village. Yeah, of course. Of course. Huh? Yeah. yeah. When God brings you into a city in, in natural life, if you study uh, human geography, population, city is the place that draws people. Are you with me? Yeah. Everybody, if things are not working in the village, they carry their bag. And they are going to the city. Because in the city, there are job opportunities. You people who didn't come from village, so you don't understand. In the city, <laughs> in the city, you will get a good lawyer. In the city, you will have good facility. In the city, good houses. In the city, no darkness, electricity. In the city, everything works fine. Traffic is fine. The cars are nice. Everything is nice. So spiritually, the iron gate blocks you from entering your city. But tonight, I said tonight, tonight, any iron gate blocking you from accessing your resources, your blessing. Let that gate open. 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 Stretch your hand and say, my gate is opening. Say louder, my gate is opening. 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 I am entering into my city. I am entering into my city. I am entering into my city.
lift your hand. Some of you, you are in the city, but but your dwelling place is like the village. Lift your hands. Sure. You can be you can be in the city and still be living in the village. Oh yes. May that thing change. Look at you. You can't say amen. amen. Shout a big amen. amen. Shout a louder amen. amen. Shout a mighty amen. amen. From tonight. The Bible talks of a man who was lame in his feet. Who could not walk. And he was in a place called the beautiful gate. Lift your hands. I think it's Acts chapter 3. Ugly situation. But in a beautiful gate. In a beautiful gate. You are, you are here. This is New York. But if you take a look at your classmates that you left long time ago somewhere. When I say somewhere, I won't say anything now. You realize that even though you are in the city here, their life is better than you. May the Lord arise Amen. and fix things in your life. Amen. Jump on your feet and shout, I'm breaking out. I am breaking out. Shout this, I'm breaking out. breaking out. Lift your two hands. Yeah, I'll finish now. Yeah. Give me answer that 12. This is a whole sermon later, not today. It said, the iron gate opened by its own accord and when they went out and went down the street, immediately the angel departed from him. God is bringing you a destiny helper. Amen. Destiny helper. Do you know who a destiny helper is? Someone who hold your hand and drag you into your place of blessing and then disappear. Are you with me? Yeah. There is a reason why people come into your life. Some people will come into your life and when they are done with the assignment, they will be gone. Understand that. And stop crying over people that have left. Are you with me? Understand that. It's a principle. God delivered the people. By the hand of Moses. Brought them to the Jordan. Moses died. Then he raised Joshua. To take them. Into the promised land. The fact that Moses delivered you. Does not mean he will go with you to your promised land. You've got to understand that. God at every season raises destiny helpers. Your destiny helper is coming. Amen. I said your destiny helper is coming. Amen. This week you will meet your destiny helper. Amen. You know what I just heard. I just heard the voice of the spirit. What you are looking for is looking for you. Amen. What you have been looking for all these years Amen. is starting to look for you today. Amen. Receive destiny blessings. He said, he said, now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. Verse 12, lift your hands. Evil expectation. That's one of the prayer points tonight. Evil what? You can't say it with your mouth. When people look at you today and predict your tomorrow, they just look at you and say, hmm, sure. She will amount to nothing. He said, Oh, this, this joy, this testimony, mm, it won't go anywhere. He said, This wedding, mm, please. It won't go anywhere. He said, This, this, uh, this, this uh, baby naming, mm, it won't go anywhere. This shop, it won't go anywhere. This church, it won't go anywhere. This joy, it won't go anywhere. Evil expectations. Lift your hand and say, I cancel it. 
Oh, people have evil expectations. Evil expectations. They look at you. Even the way you walk. The way you walk is irritating someone. The way you smell. Yeah, that's the bishop talking. The way you smell can irritate someone. You don't understand, eh? I pray for you. I pray for you. And this, this evil expectation, you are, it's not outside the church. If some of them are with you, the people that you trust. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. May God fight your battles. Yeah. Evil expectations. Lift your hands. Kalabasakata. By this revelation in this scripture, after tonight's service, let the hand of the Lord bring you out of any situation. Amen. Lift your hands. Say, I declare. I declare. I don't like that shout. He said, I declare. I declare. In the name of Jesus. Any evil hand that has been stretched against me. As I pray, I cancel it. Clap your hands and pray. Lift your voice. In the name of Jesus, may he be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice right now and pray aggressively. He pray intentionally. He pray tonight. And may you go pointing at you. And may you go on. He pointing at you. And may you go on. He pointing at your family. And may you go on. Let your voice be heard. Tonight we cancel. Tonight we cancel. Tonight we cancel. Tonight we cancel. Lift your voice. the month of Adar, on the 13th day, the time came for the king's command and his decree to be executed. On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, the opposite. Okay. Lift your hands. The opposite. 
Are you in church? Clap your hands. You won't die. Clap. Lift your hands. Any evil intention for you? Come on. The opposite. Amen. Are you here? Whatever the enemy wish for you, the opposite shall occur. If they want you to go down, you are coming up. If they want you to die, you are going to live long. They want you to be poor, you are going to be rich. Lift your hand and say the opposite of my enemy's plans. Shall okay. Clap your hands and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Whatever my enemy's plans, whatever my enemy's intention, as we clap and pray, the opposite shall occur in the name of Jesus. Whatever, the intention, whatever, the 
joy in the name of Jesus. 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 A fire in the name of Jesus. Sadabaha, 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 Sadabaha. A fire, a fire, a fire. Prescribe some some deadly end for you. Prescribe some shameful ending. It will never happen to you. Jesus. Lift your hands. Anybody that is angry with you for no reason. My God. Ah. Mm. Give me, give me Isaiah chapter 41, verse mm. 11. Mm. Anybody angry with you for no reason. No reason. Mm. Behold, mm. all those who were incensed against you, that mm. word there, incensed, means yeah. people who wow. become angry with you mm. Mm. for no reason. Yeah. Somebody lies to them. Mm. That's it. Then they get angry with you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they are hot, mama. Envious of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Angry with you for no reason. I say, I've been in a bus in London. I took my car to um, um, there's something called MOT. So I jump on a bus to come home. And somebody is talking about me, but he doesn't know me. I'm sitting right behind them on the phone. Everything they are saying, I know it's me. Yeah. You see, that prophet. Lift your hands. Doesn't know me for me. Well. Yes, look at what Bishop was saying yesterday. Some of them, you don't even know them, Bishop. Don't know them. But they look at your work. They can't do it. So it's a problem. Oh yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. So, yeah. So one woman calls me 5 a.m. In London, I'm sleeping. My phone rings. Then I pick my heart. Boop, 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 boop. So I pick the phone. Hello. He's crying. Hey, prophet. Prophet. I said, what is it? What is it? He said, what have I done to the devil? I said, what have I done to you that you call me at this time? You are asking what have you done to the devil? I said, my friend, what have I done to you that you call me 5 a.m.? I think. Tonight, <laughs> any dangerous man that has seen your success and is angry at you, the Bible said, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed. And what? They shall be what? And what? Let me explain to you. They are not the same way. So ashamed and disgrace is not the same. To be ashamed, huh? Is to be disgraced privately. Stay with me here. So, I don't like you, Eugene. I don't like you. I've told people that you are useless. So, when I see that you are flourishing, I look at you and people are cheering up. I go to my room and I'm ashamed that what I've said didn't come to pass. But it's in me. Disgrace is public shame. Are you here? When people will see that Oh, look at him. Liar. Are you with me? Look at him. Gossiper. When your private shame becomes public, it's called disgrace. Lift your hands. We are praying tonight. Anybody that is angry with you for no reason, may God put them to shame and may God disgrace them. Clap your hands and pray. Lift your voice. 
Let them be put to shame. Shall be as nothing. It shall be as nothing. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Oh, oh, they shall be as nothing. They shall be as nothing. Nothing. Look at it. And those who strive with you, they shall what? Perish. Come on, say it like you are here. And those who strive with you shall what? Perish. Striving. People that strive means content. People that are contending with you. You plant, they are fruits. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, they fight it. Striving with you up and down. Anywhere you pass, they pass there. Contending with you. The Bible said, they shall what? Yes. Lift your hand. It's not me saying it to a scripture. You shall perish. You shall perish. I want you to become a covenant child. As Bishop has been teaching. Become what? Covenant child. Become what? A covenant child. So that when you pray small, it works. Amen. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Any prayer you pray, it works. Amen. Be obedient. Amen. Be prayerful. Amen. Attend church. Amen. Be planted. Amen. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Be committed. Amen. Be faithful. Amen. Make God first. Amen. Love the Lord. Amen. Pay your tithe. Don't go about saying tithe. When people say that, I don't understand. <laughs> He said, tithe, tithe, it's Old Testament. It's Old Testament, but you are quoting this scripture. Yeah. <laughs> it's Old Testament. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth, it's the Old Testament too. <laughs> no weapon formed against me. It's Old Testament too, please. Uh, it's yes, Old Testament. <laughs> Oh, when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift the share. His Old Testament, you didn't know? <laughs> if you won't pay tithe, don't pray that prayer. Oh, yeah. Lift your hands. No, me, I don't, I don't know how to argue. I'll just tell you this straight. 
You say, Prof, they say tithe is Old Testament. Can you explain? I say, I can't explain. Don't pray this prayer. It's Old Testament. Find new, new Testament prayers. Next day, the woman is paying tithe. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. You trouble yourself for no reason. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let all my contenders. Let all my contenders. Perish. Perish. Clap your hands and pray the last in prayer. In the name of Let Jesus. Lift your voice and pray Father, that strong oh prayer. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And the contender who forever wants to see me. You go down. Anyone. Father, oh God. When I gather the scatter. Father, I pray. When I gather the scatter. Father, oh God. When I open the clothes. Father, oh God. And when I close the open, Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight, oh God, I pray, let them perish, oh God, by my prayers tonight, by my prayers tonight, as I lift my voice, as I lift my voice, let them perish, let them perish, let them perish, Father, Lord, lift your voice, I pray, who forever, who forever, who wants to contend against the blessing, the favor, the grace of God over your life, Father of God, may the Lord make them perish, may your prayers tonight, make them perish, in the name of Jesus, is that in the name of Jesus, is that in the name of Jesus, amen, lift your hand and shout, I break out, I break out, let's do this last declaration, verse, next slide, that's 12. You shall seek them. Read with me. And not from today. When you look for those who are looking for your downfall, may you not find them. Amen. Oh, yeah. Anybody, see, if you stand against an anointed child of God, you will vanish quickly. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. So make sure that you are anointed. All those who rose against David died before him. Everybody that rose up against King David died first. Amen. Everybody. Everybody. Sunday we'll do anointing service. Amen. Sunday. I'll ask Bishop permission whether morning or evening. We'll do anointing service. Are you with me? He said, those who contend with you, those who war against you shall be as nothing. As what? They will be so useless. Useless. Non-existent thing. They will talk, 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 talk. It will amount to nothing. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Lift your two hands. Give me worship. Five minutes. Lift your two hands. I feel an atmosphere of God's presence. Atmosphere of God's presence. Atmosphere. I want us to worship him for just five minutes. Whatever is on your heart, lift it to God. Lift it. Open your heart. And lift it to God. The fragrance lifted.
words hey! Rose up to the Father Oh, noises hundred and quick Well, the response to my worship hey! The fragrance of my worship Rose up, rose up to the Father Oh, noises hundred like What's the response? Come on, let's sing it again The fragrance of my worship Fragrance of my words rose up, rose up to the fire. Oh, noise is time be lightning. Hey, well, the response to my words, the fragrance of my words, the fragrance of my words rose up, rose up to noise is time be lightning. Oh, we're saying it. First, it was fragrance. First, it was fragrance. Then it turned to fire. Then it this is how, this is how This is how hey, was playing Then it turned to fire Then it turned to fire My words is this my way This is how, this is how
close your hands in this place. Oh. Chains have been broken. Just close your hands oh. and lift your hands. Chains have been broken. Lift your hands. Hey. Some of you, the Spirit of God will come over you so mightily. I want you to close your oh. hands and lift your hands. If you are marked for evil, that mark is being wiped off. Doors are opening for you. Doors are opening for you. Doors are opening for you. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Chains are falling down. Chains are falling. Chains are falling. Chains are falling. Chains are falling. set you loose and free from the hands of your enemies. Be free! Ah, you are loosed. Stretch hands on this woman. Please be seated. Please. Stretch your hands here. Any attack against your mind That's it. That demonic spirit. Out! Be free. Stretch your hands on her. Clap your hands and pray for a deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. That demonic spirit. Out! Out! Oh. Who brought her? Church. Are they church people? Visitors. You came with her, isn't it? Stand here with me. Who is she to you? She's my daughter. Your daughter. Lift her. Any satanic power that has tied this woman down, we set her loose. We set her loose. That's it. That's it. Ah, you are free. Listen, madam, lift your hands. The Lord brought you here for a reason. Any bondage that you find yourself in you and your household, that bondage is broken. Jesus. Amen. The Lord has taken me to your family house. I see myself back dated to 1991. And a spiritual satanic meeting was organized. And they plotted to destroy six women attack them in their mind and make them frustrated so that they will not be able to work they will not be able to marry and they will not be able to settle and the Lord says to me this thing has been happening in your family around the woman but the Lord said you purposely has a covenant with God who is called Lisa it's you. If it is you, then God said, today, your deliverance has happened. Amen. Are you jealous? Are you jealous here? 
your first time of entering here the lord said today is your day of deliverance and testimony amen every problem you have been through god has a covenant with you when you were 21 years old an angel visited you so you notice that growing up you used to see visions a lot of visions but you couldn't understand and a lot of times people misread you and misunderstand you am i speaking the truth i prophesy to you listen it's a sign for you to know that you have covenant with god that is why god is attacking the people around you stretch your hands on it oh yes this woman had a dream some time ago she was in a dark room she didn't understand the lord said that was the day of the attack break and be free if you didn't come yesterday but you had the covenant envelope and you are here today take it and come you missed yesterday's service but you were here the day before and you took a covenant seed envelope come and to the altar let me receive it as I continue today is Friday can I take a little bit of time yes good stand in front of the altar if you didn't come yesterday and you have your covenant seed please come to the altar or you have an envelope from me all week and it's here take it and come to the altar Are you a church member? You are not a church member. You come to visit. Or is it just your first time? You came from Ghana. When? Not long ago. How many months now? About a month ago. Okay. Stretch your hands on her quickly before I continue. All of you, just put your envelope by the altar. Stretch your hands on this woman. When she passed me, there is... Shh. Please stretch your hands. Let's stand on our feet. This one is serious. There is a family head. Be. A family head. Huh? Who want to follow this woman and make life difficult for her? Let me sit on the altar here. Let her. Sit here. On the altar, yeah. And when the mother gets up the same, okay, then I will establish them so that they will be rooted in this church. There is somebody in your family. It's like a family head, one of those people who is monitoring you. Yeah, stretch your hands here. Yeah, the 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 the, 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 the calabash is in salt pond. You are from salt pond. Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. The calabash. And he looks into it to monitor you and make sure that you don't progress. We are going to cancel it now, 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 now. Are you here? Yes. Stretch your hands. Calabasa. Clap your hands and pray and cancel it. Oh, Kapata la Hasate. Pray for her. Pray for her. Jesus. Amen. Do you know anybody in your family called AC? I'm you are AC. Yes. Who else again is AC? AC is my cousin. AC again is your cousin. Yes. Where is she? She's, she's, uh, 
She's in Accra. And you, you two are AC. Stretch your hands here. Can I prophesy? There is, there is, there is an egg. And they've written AC by that calabash. You've suffered though. You've suffered. But because you entered this church. Amen. Who brought who invited her to the church? Your auntie. But she comes to church here. Not really. Who is Auntie Becky? She's not a member. Listen. Your aunt. She needs to be here tomorrow morning. And as soon as you, you said, Auntie Becky, the Lord just spoke to me. Tell her that I said, she needs to be here tomorrow morning. Do you understand me? Yeah, there's death around her. There's death around her. If she's not careful, her husband will die. The husband died. Yeah. And, and death is on her head. Tell her that I said tomorrow morning she should come here. Oti, stretch your hands here. Can I prophesy? It's the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, any man that is looking to destroy you may tender strike them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I command fire to strike them. Amen. Loose. 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 Jesus. Jesus. That's it. Those who brought their envelope, where are they? I need to lay my hand on you. If you brought your envelope, come and stand by. I need to lay my hand on you. Rabiri Anturu Karabasanta Laba. Lay your hand on your own envelope. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Your covenant is received. That's it. Your covenant is received. There is a door that will open for you. Lift your hands. Mighty door. I speak to you. Listen to me carefully. The Lord has heard your prayer. Yeah. The Lord has heard your prayer. And the Lord says to me to tell you, as soon as you lay your hand here, God said the door is open. Amen. Yeah, the door is open. Do you understand? Get ready for your biggest testimony. Amen. Take it. Anything that hindered you has been removed. Amen. You will not fall sick. Amen. Your health is secured. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I lay my hand on you. You are delivered. Take it. Get ready for your miracle. Yes. Any bad dreams, nightmares. Out. 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 Be free. Jesus. You are free. You are free. Oh, you are free. It is done. It is done. Give the Lord a clap of friend. You are loose. Do you understand what I told you? Bring your auntie tomorrow, okay? Yeah, tell her that whatever she's doing, she has to stop. Lift this woman up. Lift her hands. Sit down for a few minutes. Sit down. Sit down. I brought you forward. Go back and sit down. Favor is on you. Malama Sante Libe Shh. Madam, stand for me. Madam. You are the madam. Yeah. I called you madam. Who do they call madam in this life? People who are teachers. Yeah. Teachers, education people. Yeah. That's why I call you madam. Because you, you are supposed to be a professor. My God. I lecture. You lecture? Oh, yeah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Who's your professor? But let me ask you. Come. Do you 
want a house in New Jersey? You want it? You want? Lift your hands. God is going to give you three houses. Amen. Yeah? Have you gone to New Jersey before? You live in New Jersey. You sure? You live in New Jersey. Allenton Avenue. Yeah. Allenton Avenue. God is going to give you multiple houses. God has taken me to where you live. And the Lord said to me to tell you. He's giving you great favor today. Amen. Number one. Is favor in marriage. Are you jealous? No. Where you live? Do you have neighbors? You and them close. Someone. Some of them. There's one Ghana man there. <laughs> to your left. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Isaac. Yes. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Straight to us. The reason I'm laughing is this man. He said, hey. <laughs> stand here. Stand here. Face the church. Yeah. Stretch your hands on it. Uh, is you and him free? Buy something and give to him. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. It's not, it's nothing, no. Because that man he has a wife, but I'm telling you to do something. Yeah, Isaac Yabua. He has a wife, but I want you to buy something. When it comes to we are in which month? June. An occasion day. Yeah, like you had. Yeah, Father's Day is coming. Give him a gift. And you, all your doors will open from that day. Yeah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Are related. It's your brother. Yeah. There's a spirit of God here, like an angel. Who is, who is looking at me and doing this? That's why I'm looking at him and looking at you. I'm looking at you, looking at you, looking at you. Your family. The other day, you, I prayed for you here. He said you're a lawyer. Do you like engineering? <laughs> you are engineer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like civil stuff. Civil engineer. God is going to prosper you beyond imagination. Virginia. You are Virginia. 
Virginia. We have to pray for someone called Charmaine and someone called Collins. Don't forget these two names. I need to pray for them in your family house somewhere. Otherwise, Kilanda Basata, stand, Mama. You need to find me who Charmaine is and who Collins is. Your aunt. Your aunt is Charmaine. And your father is Collins. Stand on your feet. Can I profess I here? Look like you want me to close. No. Then bring more offering. I stretch my hand over this family. The glory and riches that must come to you cannot be delayed anymore. Amen. Come on, pray for this family right now. Tonight, oh God, let the doors of prosperity be open in the name of Jesus upon this family. Lift your voice in prayer. As you pray unto them, God will cause others to pray unto you. Kadimika, in the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, let there be a way. In the name of Jesus, Zibrandika Dibaha, Amandi Kabondo, Le Padia, Zadi Abranda. Lika di me kaya yabondo izende li brahaya handele ba li padere in the name of Jesus we pray Father let there be a release let there be a visitation upon your people tonight oh God let doors be open let the blessings of the Lord reign upon thy people in the name of Jesus in Jesus name clap your hands take your seat yeah Yeah. Stretch your hand on this woman. Your feet is is. I'm giving you this one. This one I'm giving you for free. Put it on your head when you are sleeping for three nights. Your feet has been in, 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 placed in muddy grounds, muddy water, so you can't move. But I saw that the Lord brought you out. Amen. So things are going to be fine. Okay. Go and sow a seed and bring it to me. You. Yes. Stand. The Lord has given you favor now. Amen. Give me a bottle of water, fresh one. this water before you sleep. You see this church address? Eh? Have you come here before? This is your first time? Yeah, first time. Never. Never. And God has delivered you like this. Amen. Listen. Amen. Do all you can to be coming here. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've been a prophet for a long time. When you find your place of deliverance, you quickly make decisions to connect. And the Lord will change your life. Go and let the bishop pray for you. Okay, I want to see you here. I want to see you repeatedly. You get me? Amen. God bless you. Go. Let bishop touch you and go and sit down. Kalaba sanduru bosakata. 
Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wave your hand to Jesus. If you've done it, go stand there. I'm coming to all of you. Wave your hand to Jesus. Tomorrow morning is what? Jericho hour. How many is it? What's the time? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Make sure you are here. All right? Yeah. Yeah. By 10, we are done. Madam, stand for me. Yes, please. So, your father alive. He's gone. Do you know anybody called James? My father. Your father was called James. Yes. Come and let me pray for you. Your grandfather as well. I'm looking for your father. Stand here. There is something from Grenada. Your father's family. Clap your hands for Jesus. Grenada. Yeah. And and I need to break it because it has been lingering around you and delaying you. But if I pray for you today, you are free for good. Amen. Stretch your hands. Andala masata. Ikalaba. Have you finished? Give me your sacrifice. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I pray that you will have incredible testimony. Amen. A supernatural turn around. In Jesus' name. I cancel every satanic assignment. Get ready for turn around. You understand me? Yeah. Be serious with the church. All right? Yeah, you are good. That's very good. And your blessing, you, 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 you'll be shocked. Amen. Blessing of long life for you. Amen. Your children will prosper beyond measure. Amen. Uh, the next time I see you, you will have a big testimony. Amen. Yeah? Mighty testimony. Bless you. Come on. Clap your hands for Jesus here. Any curse from your father's background, we cancel it. Amen. Your your family is from different places, so. All over. Yeah, because I'm praying to Grenada, but it's like Puerto Rico, Jamaica. Yeah, your family is. So it's difficult to trace your your curses. <laughs> Yes. Stretch your hands here. Yes, she thought it was a good thing. Say, yeah, yeah, come. It's difficult. I can't follow the thing. Stretch your hands. Yeah, I'm following it to Grenada. It's taking me to Puerto Rico. It's taking me everywhere. So your offering too must be different, 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 different. different. Grenada offering, Puerto Rico offering, offering. Jeez, a Vincent offering. Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Father, you are merciful. Yes, Lord. 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 Jesus. Delibea. What am I hearing? Marisa. Is it I'm here? Marisa. Yes. That's your name. Yes. Jesus. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. Give me oil. Let me anoint your feet. Your shoes off. Your shoe is nice. Looks like Cinderella shoe. Oh God, Jesus! No, no, no! Stretch your hands on her. Bring her to here to the altar. sacrifice for my mantle. <laughs> Blessings, eh? You are fine. Clap your hands for Jesus. I need someone to bring me one chair. Chair, chair. Yes. Because when I touch your feet, I saw you in the hospital. 
Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Yes, yeah, sit on the chair. Everybody stretch your hands on her. We are praying that she will not go into any theater. Theater for surgery and have blood clot problems. Amen. Yeah, stretch your hands here. We are praying. Yes, 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 yes. I touch her feet. Then I saw that she's on a stretcher into a surgery. But she had, they finished the surgery right, but blood clot problems. Stretch your hands. We are clapping and canceling it. We are canceling it. We are canceling it. We are canceling it. We are canceling it. We cancel. We cancel all. Oh, we cancel in the name it. of Jesus. Right we now. Cancel it. Lift your voice in prayer. We cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the black Lord. We cancel, oh God. Right Stand now. Up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kadimia. Libranto Kadeha. Lift your voice and assignment. pray. Against Continue you. to pray. It is Let a prayer of intercession. Right now, oh God. Be free. We cancel. Libra de Katimeha, Zin de Ebrando, Ikadumi Ibahande, Li Kabea Andia, Zanto Librantea. Continue to clap your hands and continue to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the agenda, oh God, in the plot, in the surgery, we cancel. Mandi Cabriandea, Libra Ande Katumica, La Abrandea, Zanto Ika. Don't be tired, beloved. Continue to pray. We continue to stand in the gap. Tonight, oh God, deliverance for the people of God. There is deliverance tonight. As in Telebaha, Ikadia Kabandeha, Imahande Kadimi Ibahaya, Isanto Librandeha, Ia Kabande, Ia Bakandelebaha, Ia Pade. In Jesus' name. You have prayed. Oh. You've prayed, pa. Let me pray for you. I like people that make prayers like that. You, your, your, your anointing has been released over you by the apostolic grace over Bishop. Walk in supernatural power. Do fasting tomorrow. Uh, what is, what's going on here? Do fasting tomorrow. And pray into Koforidia. Koftam. Then when you come to church, read Psalm 128. Yeah, yeah. Then I will lay my hand on you. Yeah, okay. There is something that contacted you that must be removed. Otherwise, it will delay you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. During that time, you something you had contact with something. It's not. It's not good. It's like you went to pray one night. But I cancel it. Jesus. I cancel it. Father, I pray that you will anoint him and break every barrier of delay. Jesus! Give me your hand. Madam, yes, give me a little bit of time, okay? It's your father alive. Can someone take this baby? The way you have wrapped this baby, there is like this woman wrap the baby like um, look at the baby too, sleeping. Follow me. Follow me. Give me your hand. Stand. Lift your hands. 
money is all over you. Amen. What do you do? I'm payroll coordinator. What's that? Human resources. Mm. Payroll coordinator. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. HR? Yes. HR? Yes. In what business? What company? Um, real estate. Real estate? Yes. You're into real estate? Yes. Stretch your hands on her. Shout your name. Shout. Esperanza. Shout again. Esperanza. Shout again. Esperanza. Shh. Hmm. There's a company called Metro Robert. Hmm? Are you listening to me? First of all, do you like where you work? I see a shift coming for you. God is going to move you into the place where you want to be. Amen. Because what you are doing, you don't like it. You don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you at work and you frown your face. Yeah, the image God is showing me, your face is very frown. It's like, why am I here? And there's one particular guy, he annoys you. May the Lord bring a shift. Amen. Shift. Amen. Connection will come. Amen. And you have a shift. Amen. Into a better and a bigger place. In the name of Jesus. Then your money will start coming. Amen. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Your father is alive. You see, in this country, stretch your hands. What's the name? He comes to this church and he's not here today. All right, stretch your hands. If he's not here, then I'll hold his prophecy. I won't, I won't give. If he has to come to church, tell him to come to church. Huh? Stretch your hands here. Are you married? I'm married. Come again. Come here. You will do. You stand here. Hold, hold. Your prophecy is still pending. Madam, God has kept you. You will not suffer any complications. I pray for you that the Lord will come through supernaturally for you. Amen. You are covered and preserved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go and give an offering. Stretch your hands here, please. There is a gentleman by you here. Dark beard. A lot of beard. Is that your husband? I need to pray for preservation over his head. Do you understand me? And tell him that he should increase his prayer and commitment to the house of God. You understand? Yeah. Be on your feet. You are you are doing business. Do you do business? Yes. But I look at your hand, it's like you're an architect. <laughs> you're an architect. Yeah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So, if you are doing business, your hand is doing business, but your hand is also drawing. But the business your hand is involved is human hair. It's hair. But this your hand is also drawing. Listen, don't leave your architect. Do you hear me? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't abandon it. No. 
You, you hear me? Yeah. You, you, it will shock you. How God will bless you. Amen. Don't do what? Abandon. No. No. You do your business and find people to run it and do your architect thing. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be doing yourself a disfavor. Stretch your hands here. You see, prophecy is not only for catching witches. Oh. No, 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 no. No. Do you understand? Prophecy is not for catching. Yes. Yes. There was an usher in our church, Bishop. And one day, I was prophesying like this. I said, come. I said, go and do ACC. He said, okay, prophet. I, I, I said, go and do it. Then he did it. The year when he finished, I said, pack your things. Uh -huh. Go to your country. Be coming back, but find a political party and join. Uh, today, he's, he's, he's deputy minister of finance in his country. Yeah, in his country. Yes. So, prophecy gives you directions. You get me? Directions, direction. Because direction is important than speed. It's very important than speed. Some of you are in a hurry going nowhere. You are in a hurry. Every day you are in a hurry, but, but you don't have a place you are going. You don't have direction, but you are in a hurry. Find good people. If you have direction, you will choose your friends carefully. Because the most dangerous person to travel with is the person going nowhere. Do you understand that? The person going nowhere is the most dangerous person to travel with. You don't have anywhere to go. It's wasting your life. So here direction. So your direction is that don't drop your architect. Pursue it to the end. Pursue it. Because what God shows me is a lot. A lot of blessing. Stretch your hands on it. And tell your father that, that he should be here. Uh, yeah. Something, he will go in, enter a, a room, 100 Einstein loop. That's where he lives. And an arrow will meet him there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. But we cancel it. Amen. Yes, 100 Einstein loop. I see, I see, I see him. I see him. Let him come to church. Then I can, by the Spirit of God, open his pages. Yeah, and he will sow a seed. Tell him I said that before he comes here. Jesus! Amen. <laughs> Jesus! Amen. Stretch your hands here. We are praying for her and her family. That the evil plan will not work. Come on, clap your hands. Tata Branda Labosa, Ika Librando, Tabia, Librande Libra Suka di Mikaya Bahaya. Any Aroda flyers that day, Father, or by night, any terror, Father, in the name of Jesus, we command it to cease. Abria. Jesus! In the name of Jesus. If you are here and you've been having dream and seeing dead people, come. Madam, raise your hand. The Lord bless you and deliver you. You are blessed. Amen. Take your seat. If you have had a dream and you've seen dead pe people, come. Let me lay my hand on you quickly, quickly. Give me music at the background. Lift your hands. It's a very good song. I owe you prophecy, you remember. Power to say, I cancel any spirit of death. I command it to be canceled. Church, stretch your hands on this man. Everybody stand on your feet.
respectfully, stretch hands on this man. We are praying and breaking every chain holding his life in one place. Clap your hands and pray right now. Every chain broken. In the name of Jesus, over your man servants right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken of him, let it be released right now. Zebra di kama, kedi mi haya, libra do ka, izimi iba haya, kedi mi kama, be loose in the name of the Lord Jesus. Testimony for you. Testimony for you. Your testimony. Take it. Oh, take your testimony. I'll release you from any kind of hold up. Get ready for a big good news. I pray and I cement your testimony. Jesus! You are released to shine and prosper. Come and take one envelope. I want you to sow a covenant seed of $70. Come and take one from me. It's a covenant seed. Bless you, daddy. A covenant seed of $70. Get involved. You can sow some for your wife or your son or your daughter who is not here.
If you have taken the seed, use the, the, the details up there, the, the, the cash up, the paper, the cell. Please, if you have done it, come to me. Let me receive it. Bless you, mommy. God bless you. I receive your seed in the name of Jesus. I receive your seed in the name of Jesus. I receive your seed. Come on, let's bring let's bring our seed. I receive your seed. Receive your seed. I receive your seed. Come on, Thank you, sir. God bless you. The Lord bless you and come through for you. The Lord bless you and come through for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. 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 Good news is coming. I said, Good news is coming. The Lord bless you. Good news is coming. 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 Amen. Good news is coming. I receive it. Good news. Be on your feet. Tomorrow morning, I'm a Sunday, Good news. Good news is coming. Good news. Good news is coming. Yes, if you've done it, bring it to me. Let me receive it. Good news is coming. Good news is coming. Where's my water? Good news is coming. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Lift your eyes. You are going home with your miracle. The man at the back in the blue ran to me. Quickly, come and take good news. Run to me. Lift your hand like this. Take your good news. Jesus. Don't miss tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow. God will open a door for you. All right? Lift up your hands. Tomorrow morning, everybody's coming to church with a bottle of oil. Honey, the honey is today. Yes, today is honey. So I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm giving you instruction for tomorrow. So, okay, take your honey. Yeah, yeah I know I told you to bring honey. Lift it up. Just lift it. Let me see something. Open it, if you may. Open it a little bit like this. The heavens are open. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Supernatural grace. Supernatural testimony. 
supernatural, supernatural. Su yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Now close it. Close it fast. Father. Listen to me. You are bringing me this honey tomorrow morning. Do you get me? I was going to do it now, but the spirit of the Lord is asking me to move it. Tomorrow morning, you are bringing me this honey. And you write the names of your loved ones that you need God to protect. Do you understand? Yes, sir. With the honey. And we'll do the direction in Jericho hour. Then we'll do the oil on Sunday. Is that okay? Yes. So tomorrow, don't miss Jericho hour, 7 a.m. When you go home, don't go and stay on chats and, and Instagram. Those of you on this side, testimony is all over here. Amen. Testimony. Amen. Testimony. Amen. Take your testimony. Where's the other? Nyahe, Nyahe. You have prayed for you already. Take your testimony. Take your testimony. Take your testimony. 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 Amen. Are you here? So make sure you wake up in the morning, 7 a.m., and you come with your honey. The Lord bless you and favor you. Let's receive our spiritual father. Put your hands together, somebody. Put your hands. Let's sit down for one minute. Sit down for one minute. We give. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God will give me those envelopes. Eh? I want you to take one of these envelopes between now and Sunday evening. Let's bless this servant of God. You now, some of you, you feel an urge to just be a blessing to him. Amen. And I want you to just do that. You want to be a blessing to him. Immediately we close. Just come here and take one. And then between now and Sunday evening, you can bring it. Let's be a blessing. The Bible says, he who gives a cup of water to a prophet shall never lose his reward. I, I believe in blessing men of God. It's not because he needs anything from us, but because it's the proper thing to do. Is that okay? It's a proper thing to do. I'm telling you, you can never put a price on the gift you give to a servant of God. You see, sometimes it's easy for us to give for the work of God, but it's difficult for us to sow seeds into men of God. So can I have amen? So I want to give you an opportunity. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. And... I can't tell you what it means to leave your church for that long. Come and stay here because I ask you to come. Let's be a blessing to him. Let's stand together. Don't go and give him the envelope, please. I know some of you, you know, bring it to me. Thank you. You bring it to me. And if you want to, you want to, you, you can, you can, um, um, you can use your you can you can use your credit card, amen. You can sell it. If you are selling it, just sell it to nine one four two one seven zero zero seven one, and then we'll make sure I'll make sure that he gets it, amen. Father, your blessing over your people, thanking you for what you have done. You know what you know what the Lord showed me. Can I tell you before we go? This morning I was praying and I fell into a trance. In the trance, it's like a blanket, big blanket covering a place. 
the rain was falling, but because of the blanket, the rain was not getting, the water was not getting into us. But you see drips. So the drips tells you that there is something more on top, but it's not coming. I want you to listen to me. And while I was praying, it was like somebody walking through the clouds started rolling the blanket. And I knew that these two weeks here, I knew that. Say amen. amen. These two weeks here, something has happened. Amen. Something has happened. Amen. I want you to pray into that. Any blanket that is covering you, it is already rolled away. Now we must see the manifestation in your life. I bless you tonight. In Jesus' name. May grace find you. May anything that has covered your glory be removed. In Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Let's share the grace together. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Come and take the envelope from me. If you still have your offering, come and drop it. You still have.